Good morning, Immaculate Conception. I'd like to welcome everyone back on this lovely Tuesday, May 5th. Uh, still a little cloudy outside, but hopefully going to be sunny partly through the day. So hopefully you have a great day. And it's Cinco de Mayo. Uh, that's a big Mexican festival. Um, what it is, it celebrates the Mexican army in, in a battle. They beat the French in Puebla. I think is I don't know. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it right. But anyways, so it's a it's more now. It's turned into, especially in the United States, a celebration of a Mexican heritage, kind of like St. Patrick's Day for the Irish or uh, Columbus Columbus Day for the Italians. So today is Cinco de Mayo. So for the people celebrating the Mexican culture. So that's our little history lesson today. And. Now we're going to send it over to Mrs. Bono with all the important announcements of the day. All right. Thank you. Well, here's a fun fact to know and tell. Um, Mr. Coulard is actually does also have a major in social studies. So he is very, uh, very well versed in history, right? That in Wikipedia never hurts. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Well, one of the things I mentioned uh, in terms of history that I'm trying to learn more about are the saints. And my goodness, I look up the patron saint of the day and the list is actually kind of lengthy. Um, so I, I just went with the first one that came up and it, it was St. Hilary of Arles. And St. Hilary, it sounds rather like a girl's name, but actually this was a man. And he lived in France in the early fifth century and became a bishop and he earned money for the poor. And it made me start thinking about how we we reach out and we do try to do good things for others, right? That Jesus, others, you. And um, our cross-Catholic outreach. Yeah, oh, yeah, there it is right behind Mr. Coulard's head. Um, the cross-Catholic outreach um, Lenten project that we did was so successful. And if I haven't announced that before, I am so sorry. But we are able to send Cross Catholic Outreach over $700 because of the goodness of our students' hearts and your, the family's hearts. So thank you. We, it's really important in a time like this, too. We think sometimes about what's going on with um, our own difficulties, but we also know that there's people with far more difficulty beyond what we have. Um, so how are you helping to serve out there too? I mentioned, I showed you a picture that one day of one of our third graders helping his mom and dad in the yard. How are you helping and how are you serving? Go ahead and send us a photo. We love that. And um, eighth graders, we're going to continue to feature our eighth graders as we go. I have to go in and visit with them today and remind them to sign up for time. Um, one of the things that I was going to do, Mr. Coulard, I'm going to share my screen. Uh, as we talk about on a regular basis, folks, on our web page, I'm going to move this over here. On our web page, we have some really great things. All the teachers have their own web page. And Super Joy Adventures is a very fun, fun thing to look at. But also, Super Joy, you can communicate back and forth. I mean, back to him. Um, he asks a question every day. So look at what he was doing yesterday. Monday, May 4th, Super Joy loves staying active by playing yard games. Here he's playing bags, sometimes called cornhole. Are there any games you like to play outside? Great question. Oh, Super Joy heard somebody saying something. Who was that? Overheard I Nata. Likes to roller skate around Keys Park. Awesome. That's great. Um, how about this one from Sunday? Oh, the rest of us are not able to attend mass, but Super Joy can still do that. Or Super Joy can also do that from the, um, the comfort of the living room, correct? Because I think we, that's what it looks like there. Yeah, he wasn't there. That's what he, oh, he wasn't there. I think he said it did it virtual. Father James is definitely um, having mass. And then pretty soon, well, this week in two days, we'll have our Thursday morning school liturgy. So there's lots of great things. Also up here on the top, we have the Storytime Teacher Read-Alouds. Mr. Coulard's been shouting out about those regularly. Yeah, we have some new ones there. Uh, Ms. Kinzer put three new ones on. If you can see on there, you can scroll it. And then there's also, um, we had Mrs. Kurt put one on 
uh, be a fam fabulous flamingo. Ah, okay. There's the flamingo one. Yeah, I think oh, there's, and there's one, one by Mrs. Kurt. She has some friends helping her read that too. That was super good. We can go up one more. I think they put it. Oh, and Mrs. Kuka's on there again. There she is. And Something so. beautiful by Ms. Kuka. There's Mrs. Kulikowski. Yeah. I like the, the, the legend of the lady's slipper. So the lady slipper is the, um, the state flower of Minnesota, correct, Mr. Goulard, Wikipedia? It is. It is. <laughs> okay. Lady slipper is it. I learned that in fifth grade when we took the tour of the state capitol. Yeah. Pink Elephant with Golden Spots by Ms. Kinzer. Warm Weather. Ms. Kinzer, wow, Ms. Kinzer is on a roll. Uh, Goldie I Locke. think that has to do with where she's at, so. I think so, too. Um, so, and then down here, you see under more, you get all the different grade levels. Also, I've mentioned that in the music department, Mr. B has... Um, has a number of things on there for the kids to learn, songs to learn, and we are sad that we're not getting to have our actual concerts, right, in our middle school musical. So these are things we're sad about, but we can still find ways to find joy by singing and learning the songs. And I know he wants those middle schoolers that we're gonna be in the musical to learn some songs. Go ahead and record yourself. We'll put them on the website. So lots of great things there. And yeah. I was just say, so if you're in middle school, especially come and check this site out. I know you're on Google Classroom, so you may not come as often, but mm -hmm. there's so much things you can do here on the teacher web pages. Right, boy, he's got a lot on here. And he's got these songs here from, um, from the a show that we are gonna perform. Um, why am I going blank? Ar Arabian Nights? Yeah. Uh, Otherwise, no, it was uh, Aladdin. <laughs> Aladdin, yeah. So Arabian Night songs. Look at he's got it assigned to Gina and Kayla and Bomlock and Hillary and Dina and so on and so forth. So lots of great things happening there. All right. Well, I'm going to stop sharing that screen because it's making me a little um, dizzy there with <laughs> going up and down. Um, I wanted to show out. The technology. Yep, uh huh. I knew I knew wizard. I'll keep talking louder than you. <laughs> yeah, oh, talk. You're a technology wizard. <laughs> um, I do like technology a lot. It, it's a good, it's it can help us. Uh, teacher Appreciation Week is continuing, and I know I, um, Mr. Kular, you're supposed to cover your ears for this, but I, I asked families if they would please have their kids reach out to the um, teachers this week, either via email or sending a card or a note, um, whatever it may be, letting teachers know how very, very much you appreciate them, they appreciate you. And I said this yesterday and it was good luck, so I'm gonna say it again. Um, chocolate bars, uh, we still have about 40 boxes of chocolate bars remaining. And if you want to purchase a whole one, we go half price for $30. And also, um, it's just very helpful to us to get to go through those chocolate bars and make sure that they find a good home in your tummies, right? So we'd like to we'd like to sell all of those. And the teachers and I are meeting this afternoon, and we're beginning to work out those final details for when we get to the end of May. How do we come back and return the things that belong to the school? How do we return the things that belong to you? Um, if you have something at school you think that you left behind, like in a lost and found or something, start thinking about that and communicating with the teachers about that so we make sure we take care of all of those things. And we're still registering our students for next year, so lots, lots of good things happening. Um, trying to find the joy, even though we miss you all. Mr. Coulard, some other things. Yeah, well, I've got the big joke of the day, some joy, I think, in that. Why was the baby strawberry crying? Why was the baby strawberry crying? I can't imagine. Because her mom and dad were in a jam. <laughs> that is good. That is good. I like that one. Yeah, very good. Any, any other jokes today? Nope, that's the only one I got for today. I went on just with one. Um, but I do have time. We can say our pledge and maybe our prayer, the memorari, since this is... Um, May, Mary's month. Yeah. We haven't done as much. Very good. All right. So if you join us in the pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag 
of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, as we say our prayer today, we'd like to keep Father Joseph Pete, a man with two first names, Father Joseph Pete, in our prayers as we say the Memorari in Mary's month. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O virgins of virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O mother of the word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Mm -hmm. Very good. So hopefully everyone has a great single de Mayo, a little May 5th. Mm -hmm. Yesterday was the fourth day. May the fourth be with you. So we're moving on to single de Mayo. That's right. Okay. That's, um, I was going to just take a minute to, again, read one of those prayers as well from our eighth graders, all, uh, in case we don't get to have them all on, which I hope that we do. But here's one from Sarah. Dear God, please protect all of us as we are going through tough times. Please especially protect those who work in the medical field or are very likely to get this disease. We pray that this will end soon. Amen. Well written, Sarah. We appreciate that, Sarah. All right, Mr. Coulard, signing off for the day, and we'll catch you in the morning. Go, yep. Go Raiders. Raiders. Bye.